the Fomon, the story we can go across to correspondent uh, Nana Mus uh, Stephenson standing by in Kabul. What more do we know? Police, at least 12 people and 15, at least 12 people were killed and 15 were injured when a bomb went off inside a mosque during the Friday prayer today. And one of the killed was the imam who was reportedly in the middle of giving his, his sermon when this happened. The bomb was placed either under or on the, the podium where the imam was, was giving his uh, sermon. So it does look like this could be a targeted attack on him. And that's also what the police uh, uh, have said. The Taliban quickly condemned this attack and also shared a photo taken of the imam uh, after his death, uh, shared it on Twitter. Uh, the, the Taliban does not say, though, that it considers this directly a breach of the ceasefire. But obviously, this uh, three-day ceasefire is highly vulnerable because of the deep, deep uh, mistrust between the two sides. So th this ceasefire is on shaky ground, if you will. And, and Nanamus, this, this attack comes as, you know, the U.S. Be begins its troop withdrawal before September. Indeed. And I mean, I will say that the, the situation in Afghanistan at the moment is, is uh, so messy that even though there is a ceasefire between the Taliban and the government, it doesn't mean that violence just immediately stops. And there are so many um, armed groups in Afghanistan who have the capacity to do an attack like this. One of them is the Islamic State group. The group claimed responsibility for another attack in the same area just a few days uh, ago. And then, as you said, the this attack comes in the middle of a ceasefire and also uh, just as the U.S. in full withdrawal mode from Afghanistan. The, the U.S. forces has just handed over the Kandahar airfield uh, base. The, this base was uh, a center for the, the U.S. and international forces fight against the Taliban in the south. Uh, so the Afghan forces and, uh, and the Afghan government is in the middle of, of taking over more of the fight against the U.S. And, and leading up to this uh, ceasefire and leading up to Eid, the Taliban has indeed increased its attack uh, all around uh, the country against the Afghan forces nearby Kandahar, where this airfield, uh, this U.S. base was just handed over to Afghan forces in Helmand province, just nearby. The provincial capital is under siege. It's, it's uh, surrounded by the Taliban. Uh, so the ceasefire uh, re uh, is supposed to remain until tomorrow. And the future after that is certainly very uncertain at the moment. Alamo Stephenson reporting there from Kabul. Thank you very much for that. In other news, the UK is back.